beautiful astrology soulmates and welcome to your horoscope for the week of November 23rd where man we've got one more week after this left in November which is absolutely crazy so I look forward to walking you through what what we've got as we close out this year as well now before we jump in here first and foremost I want to say thank you so much to absolutely every single one of you out there who called or emailed or sent me messages to check in on me and my family and my dad. I want to say thank you so, so much. And I want to say thank you to my fellow astrological um, friends as well and colleagues who wrote to me to see not only if I was okay and my family was okay, but also to see if there was anything they could do to help me even in my own business, even though it's not their business. So to every single one of you out there, I just want to give you a big old pile of love this week and say thank you so much. And my dad is doing much better. We're just keeping an eye on him. So thank you for all of the well wishes. Feel free to continue to send them this way, okay? All right, you guys, this week is busy in the eat and greets. It's also in the United States, Thanksgiving week. And regardless of what we think about that, a week to just be in gratitude is delicious. Now, speaking of delicious in our eat and greets this week, I'm going to have Mecca Woods. Demetrius Bagley will be here. We'll have um, Natai will be here to talk about the nodes. And we're going to talk about the astrology of shopping, of food, of the nose. It is a busy, beautiful, eat and greet, gratitude kind of week. So I look forward to bringing you in. Let's bring some snacks together. Let's break bread and just let the energy of this week bring kindness, bring a gratitude, bring a fierce gratitude to the table. And really the energies of this week are completely set up for that. So let's get into that. And you can um, check out the Eat and Greets absolutely ad-free on Patreon. And I will tell you guys this as well. I'm creating a new plan, a business plan, around some of the videos in this YouTube channel. So I'm making a plan to make this entire YouTube channel um, accessible to you and ad-free. So I'll keep you posted on that, okay? All right, let's get in here. Let's talk about this week. Now, as we begin the week here on the 23rd, we've got this absolutely beautiful feel to the week where it's creativity. It is... Um, a gentle mind, gentle words, gentle ideas, gentle communication with one another where we've got Mercury and a trine to Neptune. Now Mercury's over in the energy of Scorpio. We've of course got Neptune still retrograde in the energy of Pisces and they will make this trine at 18 degrees. Now as they make this trine, genuinely this is such an imaginative, easy kind of energy. Dig into it. Let your mind be kind. Let your mind be creative. Let your mind wander in the big lush open openness that is that Piscean, Scorpionic, watery kind of energy and bring yourself back to, if you can, some time alone or even time alone in your own mind. At this point in the year, we have seen a lot. We have felt a lot. We have been through a lot together and individually. And what are you grateful for? What have you seen? Where have you seen yourself be more creative and more lifted and more sad and more whatever you felt than you ever have before and yet it brings you back to gratitude? I think this is such a gorgeous energy to spend some of that alone time seeing what the year has actually brought instead of just what it has taken, okay? Now, as we continue on, we're going to get to the 26th, and this is Thanksgiving here in the United States. So if you celebrate that, happy Thanksgiving. I'll be eating with my family. We'll be going towards gratitude, not any historical situations, but we will be dealing and eating and breaking bread and gratitude. But also on this day, we've got transiting Mars, who's in conjunction with the moon that will be transiting Aries. So it's actually kind of a fierce day. But what I love about it is the ferocity of kindness is available in this particular energy. The ferocity of being that warrior that Julian Venables talk, us, talk to us about, that different face of Mars where we can be that fierce warrior where we grow. We ferociously grow something beautiful in our lives on this day, ferociously grow gratitude. I absolutely love the energy of that day. Now, as we get to Friday here in the United States, it'll be Black Friday where we got shopping, we got the black tag deals, you're looking for all of the best goodies, the deals, the bargains, all of those things, whether it's online or you actually are going into the stores, which that's your business. Mercury is sextile Pluto that day. And when the planets have sex, that's good to us. Again, we've got Mercury over here in Scorpio. And of course, we've got Pluto still here in Capricorn. Now, 
Now their sextile will happen at 23 degrees, so you can look at that in your chart. Now Mercury here is the probing mind. It's in Scorpio, taking things apart, looking for the best deal, right? Pluto is digging, right? And I remember going um, Black Friday shopping with my mom one time, and we're digging through this bin of DVDs, and my mom is so here for it. She's a Taurus as well, but she's got some different placements than I do, so she was here for it. And I will tell you that I also remember on that Black Friday, just on the heels of having all of this Aries energy this week, I remember we were shopping, and my mom put some things in our cart and this woman came by and tried to take the things out of our cart. So I'm telling you, there is also a ferociousness of people, but kind words, kind actions if we can here. Now, also on this day, we're going to have Venus in an opposition to Uranus. Venus over here in Scorpio, Uranus over here still retrograde in the energy of Taurus, and they will um, oppose each other at eight degrees. Now, as they oppose each other, this can be challenging to romance. It can be a little bit challenging to um, finances as well. But one of the things I think about a little bit more than that is um, this energy with with needing to see where your desire to do something different or to have an area be different, where it's actually taking on your actions and your attitudes to have something be different, right? So I think that this is a time to look at kind of the sensitive subjects you've got going in your life and find the compromise on them. Do you want to go Black Friday shopping, but you also want to be free of debt? You know what I mean? Think about these things. Do you want to have this exciting romantic life, but also you've got some things you're working on over here? What's this balance of the opposition that you're looking to bring compromise to? You because I think that Venus and Uranus here actually will work quite well um, to make that happen for you. Now, this is also just the opposite energies of Scorpio and Taurus, and there is a beautiful balance. They need, we need their polarities so that we have the depth and vulnerability, but we also have the stance in the material world. So in your in those two dimensions for you, what are you kind of working out between your relationships, your money, things of value in your life? Have a look over that. Now, as we close out this week and we get to the 28th, we've got Mercury in a sextile to Jupiter. Yay, more planetary sex, which is good for us. Okay, so we've got Mercury over here in Scorpio, Jupiter here in Capricorn, and they are meeting their sextile at 26 degrees. Okay, so as Mercury and Jupiter come into a sextile, first of all, things can get really, really big. Information can get big. It's a great day to be social. There's a lot of information going on. There may be a lot of chatter that is actually happening. It is a great day for travel if you want to travel. And remember, travel at this particular time of COVID and everything else in the world could also look like you're on the internet. You're connecting with friends and family or you're studying or you're doing something like that and that is the way that you travel. Maybe this is the day that you're like, I'm doing it, I'm putting out content, I'm doing it, I'm gonna create this and put this out. Whatever that vibe of travel is for you, bring this down to your life and see where you have the ability to do this. Now, the other thing I love about the weekend is Saturday, Neptune comes out of retrograde. Neptune is coming direct. He's going to be coming direct at 18 degrees of Pisces. Now, Neptune is an outer planet, so his retrograde can be kind of quiet. It's kind of, you know, in that subconscious, under the waves, under that, just I can absolutely see it, feel it, Mars retrograde energy. But as Neptune comes out of retrograde, we get to go back to dreaming to creating and as funny as it sounds because neptune can make things illusionary when neptune is out of retrograde things get very concrete when you know like when neptune's in retrograde excuse me things are very concrete we're not as imaginative typically we're not as creative we are very concrete in what is going on but as neptune comes out of retrograde and comes direct we get to create and we have to create we have to create in an imaginary place because before a chair was a chair it was just a vision we need to have that space to go create now that neptune is also coming direct i do want you to pay attention to where you are dimming or dulling your reality by any version of escapism but more than that neptune's been retrograde since june this has given us an opportunity to go back to the piscean areas of our chart and really look at our ideals that we've had here. You've got new ideals. You've seen yourself. You've seen this world be something different. What are the ideals and the principles that guide you now? And you'll be able, especially with Mars Direct, to really get busy living those things. So it's a beautiful week. It is a week of ferocious gratitude. I have immense gratitude for every single one of you and everything that is coming to this channel and all of the time that we get to engage. So thank you so much. Happy Gratitude Week to everybody out there.
All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love you a ton, and I'll see you this week. Bye.